What's up world, this is your boy Flame of God, also known as Malcolm Pickard. Welcome to the Impartation Series. First Corinthians 10, 31 says, so whether you eat, drink, or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. I wanna to talk to you about giving God glory in your life. Now, I know you're looking at me right here with my hat turned backwards. Yes, I am a rapper. <laughs> with a Christian message. So I am who I am. And but what I do, I give God glory. So I want to talk to you, especially young adults, young people, everybody. I don't want to single nobody out. But I want to tell you, like, whatever you do, give God glory. So first, I want to start off with something that we as young people use every day. We use social media. Now, social media is a place where when we're on there, we're texting, we're writing anything, we're putting whatever, we, how we feel, I want to challenge you to think about what you're putting on your social media account. Like, is your pictures bringing God glory? Is your messages that you put on there bringing God glory? Now, I'm not here to throw any stones because I tell you, like, I mess up every day. So I'm not trying to say what you're doing. All I'm doing is challenging you as I'm challenging myself to always give God glory every day. So I want to say, OK, now, old girl make you mad or old boy make you mad. And you want to get on there and say, Oh, today is all jacked up. He get on my nerves or she get on my nerves. And now you got to think about that. Is that reconciliation? Is that bringing that relationship together? Or is that tearing and giving everybody something to talk about? Is that really bringing God glory? No, it's not. Animosity doesn't bring any glory to God, but reconciliation brings glory to God. So when you're on your social media, think about what you're posting. Now, girls, I know you want a man. Every woman wants a man. So I'm going to start talking to the girls because I'm going to deal with the fellas in a few. When you have, when you, when you out there and you taking twerking videos, cheek shots of your backside. Now me as a man, that's all I see from you. So that's all I'm gonna want from you, cause that's what you're selling me. That's what you're, that's what you're telling me. What makes you you? That's how you're expressing yourself. So therefore, that's all I'm gonna want you for. So you gotta think about what you're posting. So for for fellas, if you out there just wanna show, oh, I'm living life. I got money. I got you taking pictures of your cars and you just want to show everybody. So then when a girl see you, of course, that's what she's going to want you for. So you got to really think about it. Now, if you're on our, you want to think about what you're putting on your social media, because I've seen people in like post stuff two years ago and mess them up for getting a job. So you got to think about that. It's people post up two years ago, messed them up from getting a college education because they went back and checked it in this and no, we don't want a person like that in our, on our campus. So you got to think about what you're putting on your social media. It can harm you. Like social media is powerful. So I want to challenge you to think about before you press post. Think about before you press send. And then when you press the button, post to send or whatever you want to trend, hashtag on there, make sure it's bringing God glory. Now let's talk about our daily lifestyle. Like in there, Paul was talking about whatever you drink, whatever you do, give glory to God. Now, in our daily lifestyles, are we giving God glory? Like, that's something we have to really just think about. I tell myself this every day, because I, I have some days in my life where I know I'm not giving God glory. And I have to get on my knees and I have to repent and say, Lord, help me <laughs> to get my stuff in order so I can give you glory. Now, you have to think about it. Now, what are you doing in your everyday lifestyle? Are you spending a lot of time in front of that laptop watching porn? Is that bringing God glory? Are you spending a lot of time trying to get fly and go to the club to bag the next honey? Is that bringing God glory? Now girls, you gotta think about what you're doing. Are you spending a lot of your time trying to become the next America's top model? There's nothing wrong with looking good, but when you every day think about looking good and invest into this flesh, cause this flesh is fading away. It's not gonna be here forever. I promise you that. You can ask any old woman who's walking around, she's like, baby, I used, it used to be tight, but now it hangs. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, it's, it's real out here. So you gotta think about what you're investing in. And ladies, I just wanna tell you, because you're so much more than butt, breasts, thighs, so much more than that. Like, guys, you're so much more than just having muscles, rocking J's every day, flat, and telling everybody, flashing your cash. Like, you're so much more than that. Life is so much more than that. If you living just for that stuff, then it's the cheap way in life. I want you to think about this stuff. Like, think about, okay, I want, I want to 
have goals in life. Let's start with some goals that can bring God glory. You know what I'm saying? Let's think about like, okay, I, I'm going, you know, going to church services on Sunday. Okay, that's good. You go to church services on Sunday. That is an awesome thing. But then you have to think about too, what are you doing Monday through Saturday? Are you meeting up with your girls and y'all say, hey, let's break down some scripture. Are you meeting up with guys? Are you meeting up with the fellas and hey, let's let's have let's talk about biblical manhood. Let's not talk about these gold chains we got on. Let's not talk about, you know what I'm saying, like the next song that future just dropped, the Drake just dropped or something. Let's not talk about, let's talk about what John the Baptist just dropped in that book. You know what I'm saying? Like what was Paul, what was Paul saying in the book of Romans? Like let's talk about stuff like that, stuff that's gonna build your character, stuff that's gonna have an everlasting impact in your life and to the people that you talk with. So like fellas, when you get together, talk, let, let's talk about biblical manhood. Let's talk about what we can do to, to, for the young guys that's below us, raising them up. Cause some of you fellas out here, you got daughters. Now, if you all about just flossing and shining and, and you know what I'm saying, getting me, then guess what? These younger, younger guys in here is all about the same thing and that's gonna be the same guys that's coming towards your daughter. Now you gotta think about that. Now I'm tell you what. Now I got a little girl, and my daughter, uh, -uh we ain't having that. <laughs> like she's already learning the checklist. I'm teaching her young, you know. And you have to. You gotta train in the way. So like I know a lot of a lot of you young 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 people, you already have children, and I know it's tough because you like man, I'm still trying to figure life out myself, and I got a child. You know, like weather's in wedlock, weather was out of wedlock. Like, it's hard. Raising a child is hard. Ra and trying to figure it out as a, young, as a young adult is hard. But I'm telling you, like, when you come together and you start talking about the Lord together, like, you're going to figure it out together. And that's going to bring God glory. And then through that, God can do some miracles and do some, do some impossible things in your life. Believe me, I am a product of a miracle. I am a product of impossible things. I've seen God do those things in my life. So I'm not telling you something that I haven't experienced myself. I have, I've been there. So I'm telling you something so that you can see and that you can know that it's real.